Hey friends, this is Trip here. Today I want to share a little tip with you that's going to make your life a lot easier if you ever need to get rust off of chrome. Now I've got in front of me a pair of motorcycle handlebars that are moderately rusty. Not too bad, but you know, they don't look good at all. Now for years I used to use all sorts of polishes and creams that cost six, seven dollars a, a container. Uh, some of the more expensive ones that you can buy imported are up to $20, $25. And they do a decent job, but you've really got to work at it. Today, I'm going to show you a way to do this a lot easier for a lot less money. Now, I'm using motorcycle handlebars because I like to work with motorcycles. This will work with a chrome on cars. It'll work with the chrome on bicycles. It'll work on any chrome that's got rust on it. So what is this magical way to get rust off? Well, here it is. It's simply steel wool. You can buy a bag of this uh, product for anywhere from $2.99 to three and a half bucks. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at any auto parts store. Now, you want to be sure and use grade quadruple zero, which is fine. You can see down here the scale. You don't want to use coarse. You want to use the finest steel wool that you can find. This will take the rust off very quickly and easily and it will not scratch your chrome or wear your chrome away. So why two sets of rusty handlebars? Well, I'm gonna show you two different ways to take off the rust, and I'm kinda of curious which one works better. I really don't know. I've always just done it dry. No water, just gotten out the steel wool pad and jumped right to it. Other people say take a wet rag and wipe it down a little bit. So on one of them, we're gonna wipe it down a bit. On the other, we're just gonna do dry. The other cool thing is just how little steel wool it takes to get the job done. So I'm gonna pull out just one pad of steel wool. There's about a dozen to 16 pads in a, uh, in a package of this stuff. Literally, you're looking at maybe 20 cents a pad. It's really, really very cheap. First up, just steel wool with no water. Now, I'm gonna give this a pretty good scrub in here. Okay, and I want you to see just after a few seconds of doing this, look down here at the end, how much rust there is. Look right here, that's almost completely gone, mirror smooth. So I'm gonna keep going at this for a minute or two and then we're gonna come back and look and look and see how we did. But look at that, look how much shinier it is just after a couple of seconds. A few moments later. All right, I've been at this about a, uh, Oh, I don't know, a minute and a half, two minutes, and it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go at it for another couple of minutes here and then come back and show you the finished product. This is taking about three minutes, and I want you to see how nice and shiny this end of the handlebar is. Look how nice that looks. Now let's take a look at the other side of the handlebars that we didn't scrub with a steel wool and see all the rest there. That's what we got off of this side. Actually, I've decided to change things up a little bit. For the water and steel wool method, I'm gonna use the other half of the handlebars that we just worked on and compare the two. That's probably a more fair comparison than using different sets of handlebars that may have different amounts of rust and chrome thickness on them. Put it on our rag, this is just a regular old shop towel. Get it nice and soaked. And now let's take and go over the chrome. I'm gonna get out a piece of fresh steel wool. Here's the old piece, here's the new piece. And let's go at it. Let me give this a little bit of scrubbing here. It's coming along real nicely. Look at that, in just 15, 20 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna work on this. Keep applying water to it, work on it for a couple of minutes and then come back and show you the uh, results. Meanwhile. I've gone at it now another minute or so and it's really starting to look good. Let me uh, put just a little bit more water on the rag, wet this up. Later. It's been about three minutes. Let me take the rag and wipe this thing dry. This looks absolutely beautiful now. Beautiful, it looks like a mirror. And I've always done this dry before, but it actually looks a lot nicer than the, uh, than the dry side. Using a little water increases the effectiveness of the steel wool. Maybe it's kind of like wet sanding. But what do you think? There's the dry side with just the quadruple out steel wool. And here is the wet side. The wet side actually looks a little nicer. That's amazing. Saves you money, saves you time, 
Miracle answer to rust on steel chrome, nothing but steel wool right there. Quadruple aught steel wool, about three bucks a bag. And the best thing is it's just so easy. You don't have to scrub hard. The steel wool does all the work. And now comparing the two sets of handlebars which came out of the same junk pile and were stored the same way for about the same amount of time. Here's the one that we treated with the steel wool for about three minutes and a little water to wet it down. See how nice it looks. Looks like you're staring into a mirror. And now here's the untreated one. Look at all that rust. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and that this tip will save you some money and some time. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, this is Trip on Two Wheels, asking you to ride safe and ride often.